Next, I want to show you how to control how the data is entered into your database by using field validation. So when you're creating your columns or your fields, if you want to make sure that certain information is input into your field or that certain information actually isn't input into your field, you can set validation. So in this example, I'm looking at the orders table and about the fourth column over is the order date. Now what I want to do is make sure that people put an order date in that's in the past or even today's date, but not a date that's in the future. So I'm going to head over to my design view and go to my order date field. Now if you're following along with the Northwind database, you may actually see by looking in the field properties that there might be a validation rule and validation text already in there. You can just delete that to follow along. All right, so again, what we want here in this example is to make sure that people put in a date that is prior to today, or at least today, not a date in the future. And I'm going to use comparison operators like greater than, less than, equals to. So my validation rule will be less than or equals to now. All right, I'll go ahead and save that. Now, I get this little warning that pops up, and that's because I already had data stored in the table before making this rule. So it's telling me that existing data may not be valid for this rule. But it's also asking if I want to check the existing data to see if it meets with this new rule. And I do. So I'll go ahead and click on Yes. All right, now let me take a look at my data sheet view. And I'll go and add a new record. Let me scroll down to the bottom. So I'll add in my employee here, I'll add in Andrew, and maybe the customer was customer M. And the order date, the order date field has a default of the current date and time. I'm going to try to change that to, let's say, September 25th, and tab out. And you can see here that now I'm getting an error. It's telling me that I cannot do that because there is a validation rule set on it, and it's not going to be accepted. So it works. That's perfect. I'll go ahead and click on OK. And let me go ahead and put in a date in the past. I'll say August 4th and tab away. And you see here now that Access accepted it. Dates in the future weren't allowed because of our validation text, but dates in the past were. All right, so again, that's by going to the design view, choosing the field that you want the validation text on, going down to the validation rule and typing in what you want that rule to be. Now I typed in the text box what I want the rule to be, but you'll notice also that when I click inside there, I get my little build button, that dot dot dot. I can click on that and it'll bring up an expression builder for me. And in my expression builder, I've got my constants, which are like my true or false, and I have my operators. And I just mentioned that I was using my comparison operators, like less than, less than or equals to, does not equal, equals, and so on. So you can use the expression builder if you need a little help typing in your validation rule. I'll click on cancel. Or you could just type it right into the validation rule. So take a look at the resources that I've added with this lecture to get more information about the operators that you can use with validation rules.